traveled the Mexican desert and beyond, and who isn't afraid to commit a murder or two when oppressed? As Schiller is confronted by his abandoned ballerina wife, his former mistress, an estranged brother, and a cast of bourgeois sophisticates from Schiller's life, the novel intertwines a classic tale of his identity with high comedy and post-war seriousness. Is still the last moment of his life the unvarnished truth as he claims? Or is he urging a drastic effort and deception, a denial of my own he despises? We don't know, and never mind the beauty of experiencing that one still. For anyone who likes to narrate the story unreliably, you must do this. Frisch, who first achieved renown in Germany as a dramatist before the publication of Stiller in 1954, never ceased his entertainment with his plain, direct style and entrancing digressions. And while he throws those daunting existential questions of identity, freedom, and morality with sly dramatization, we find ourselves actively piecing together the mystery of a man's identity.